Welcome back. You're still watching the Far Breakfast News Review with me, Freddy Bimule. This is Citizen TV. Remember the hashtag to use up until 9 a.m. is hashtag Far Breakfast. I'm in studio here with MPs Did Masbarasa, MP Kimilili Constituency, and MP Silvanas Osoro from Mugirango South, a very young uh, members of the National Assembly. Karibuni sana. I'm just looking at the Twitter handle for Honorable Did Masbarasa. At Did Masbarasa. I've just followed you by the way, Mr. And uh, your latest tweet uh, reads like this. I'm convinced that human life is filled with many pure, happy, serene examples of insincerity, truly splendid of their of people, or, uh, truly spend, uh, splendid of their kind, of people deceiving one another without, strangely enough, any wounds being inflicted, of people who seem unaware even that they are deceiving one another. I know that will take some time to sink in. Uh, for those who can understand, it's actually very deep. <laughs> uh, Osoro Silvanas, at Osoro Silvanas is also on Twitter, uh, but not very active. Uh, but you should be very active on uh, social media, gentlemen. <laughs> anyway, good morning, Karibu Sana. Let's start off with Bona Didmas Barasa. Of course, yesterday the High Court uh, uh, upheld the, your election as MP for Kimilili. How did that feel? Yeah, was it ever, were you ever worried at some point that, uh, yes, uh, things could not, uh, probably, would not go your way? I was not worried, worried at all because I, I put in the best and uh, uh, even up to today I'm still convinced that the people of Kimberley uh, woke up very early in the morning on that 8th of August to elect me as a member of parliament. And I knew I had one of the best uh, uh, manifestos so far. And I had even begun uh, implementing my manifesto. Mm -hmm. So I was not worried at all. I had the people. And uh, this victory wo that was upheld is not even my win, but it's is the win for the people of community, especially a uh, race against uh, uh, poverty eradication. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, but there must be, uh, surely, uh, there must be some uh, butterflies when you're still in court. Uh, I'm sure you, you've been with colleagues who are in yes, court. Yes, uh, yes. You, you're not one of those whose petition, uh, whose election was challenged. Mm -hmm. But uh, it, it, you must be, uh, even, even though you're from opposing sides of the house, uh, you must uh, be happy to see your colleague uh, now fully engaging in house business. Uh, far from that. Actually, mine was also challenged. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it will be coming up for judgment sometime next week. Oh, okay. Yes, um, second of... Um, March, that will be on a Friday. Uh, you know, going to court, Didmas is, uh, Didmas is uh, you know, confident, of course, of, uh, because of the outcome. But I want also him to be a bit honest on the butterflies. It's very common. <laughs> <laughs> you are experiencing butterflies. Exactly, because what happened, okay, I, I, in as much as I'm very confident of the victory because it wasn't stolen, uh -huh. uh, but as a lawyer, I've always told people that going to court is like, going to hospital you will go very healthy you just a mere headache and the doctor tells you you're very serious you need to be admitted mm -hmm. or at times you walk, take yourself to hospital walking then you you're taken back from hospital in a coffin okay. so it, it really happens it's very yes. common but what i believe in is that leadership is god given and uh, if it's yours it's yours okay. if it's not yours it's not yours and i understand i want to congratulate my colleague because i believe it is actually god who chose him and uh, there is no challenge that could have affected him. Okay. All these things come from God, mm -hmm. and that is it. We wish you all the best uh, next Friday uh, as your petition comes up uh, for judgment. Uh, and even as your election was being upheld, uh, the second governor uh, this time round to have his election nullified was uh, Homer Bay's Cyprian Awiti. Now the student page four of the Daily Nation, Awiti vows to fight for Homer Bay's seat as judge nullifies his election. Quite a number of uh, elections have been nullified uh, from MCAs. Uh, but uh, when it comes to governors, this is big. This is only the second one. Uh, and uh, yes, he says he's going to appeal, but the kind of uh, costs that you have to pay if at all it doesn't go your way it's very punitive we, we've seen even discussions within the lsk mm. saying that those costs need to be tapped mm. uh, people are being uh, slapped with the uh, costs of up to 10 million shillings after losing an election petition surely that's a bit much don't you think uh, even uh, the person who filed a petition against you uh, was slapped with some uh, uh, about six million shillings six million shillings you, you know it uh, it depends on a number of issues it depends uh, the duration that the, that the case has taken if we have uh, so much uh, or rather too many uh, you know 
uh, what we call uh, applications. Also, the court also has to look at the quality of the affidavits and the volume of, of, of affidavits uh, sworn, mm -hmm. either to defend or to, or, or by way of uh, by the petitioner or by the defence. And I think it's a number of issues also. And I think I'll also support that uh, those who just file petitions on frames and grounds, the mm -hmm. only way to be discouraged is to uh, ask them to pay huge fines so that uh, in future you don't want to file uh, a petition uh, challenging the will of uh, someone when mm -hmm. you know yourself that you have completely uh, no grounds at all. We should get busybodies out of uh, court uh, you know, re you know, uh, registers to file petitions, especially after elections. People like should accept yes. uh, and move on, unless you have glaring uh, uh, evidence. <laughs> and uh, you see, lawyers are very, uh, very interesting uh, human beings. Yes. Even if you have no case, absolutely. Yes. And uh, you still enter uh, no lawyer's office, they will tell you you have this uh, glaring, massive irregularities. Even if they know themselves that this is going to be a wild goose chase. So Ivana Sosoro, Sosoro is a lawyer, <laughs> but, but the LSK has come out and said uh, it's even concerned about the kind of uh, uh, fines being slapped on uh, these uh, petition losers, mm -hmm. 10 million uh, shillings, 12 million shillings, it's a bit much. Do you agree with your colleague here that that is how it should be? Um, you see, the advocates are to define the fee that a lawyer should charge, uh, or rather, you know, in any uh, petition mm -hmm. or other case in court, for instance, like in the election petition should be bare minimum 500,000 uh, to challenge just to an file, election, yeah, just to file, not, to, not just to file, mm -hmm. that is the legal fee to an advocate. Okay. But then, um, just like my colleague has said, there, there is something that, you see, we should eliminate this element of Kenyans being perennial litigants, that you just feel like going to court even... Uh, uh, just to appease your supporters. It is a right guaranteed. It court. is a right, it's it's a right guaranteed. Very true. Very true. But if you look at the current petitions, the petitions that are in court right now, you know, you will even get that one judge holds around four election petitions. And if you look at those grounds, they are quite similar. What set precedent for this filing was the nullification of the presidential election of the August 8th. Mm -hmm. And on that Monday, actually, even mine, somebody filed on a Monday. After, after <laughs> the, the, the election uh, of the presidential candidate was, uh, I mean, uh, the president was nullified on Thursday. Mm -hmm. So I it's a common factor that people look at things and they get pulled. Uh, we call it cheap factor. You just feel like you can win. You go to court, even you doubt grounds. But having said that, there is also a necessity of making, and I also understand LSK, there is need for us to lower the cost uh, implications so that any poor person, it doesn't really mean that all people won fairly. There are people that you yes. find mm -hmm. who will uh, use their influence or money or anything to, you know, uh, uh, undermine uh, the election process and eventually de be declared winners. Mm -hmm. So I also agree with LSK that the cost shouldn't be too high, that a normal person who is aggrieved will not just, go to court. Just come out of because a campaign. Exactly. Some campaigns you spent all, uh, all the money, money and then you're told you're slapped to 10 million, yes. uh, 5 million. I mean, for me, it's not a big deal. Uh, of course, I know I'll be winning, for instance, next week, but I don't really think it's necessary for me to be granted big cost or huge cost. I mean, it's not necessary. I mean, it's, it isn't. Yes. It isn't. Okay. So somebody going to court, it's for their right. Let them go to court. Okay. Yes. Let's now talk about uh, Parliament's agenda, uh, especially today and going forward. Uh, I think you only have today and tomorrow for this week. Now, different departmental committees will this morning commence a vetting of uh, nominated, uh, those uh, individuals nominated for PS, ambassadorial, and other positions. Key among them will be the Justice and Legal uh, Affairs Committee expected to vet those nominated to serve in the Judicial Service Commission. The Defense and Foreign Affairs Committee expected to, to vet those nominated in several Kenyan missions. Uh, question arises, NASA MPs uh, did not take part in the uh, vetting of CS nominees. Uh, will you be taking part in this process today, uh, vetting of PSs, ambassadors, and members to the Judicial Service Commission? Yes, we will. Um, uh, as far as I'm concerned, my committee, I actually am a member of the committee on uh, uh, co the Committee on Implementations and Committee of uh, Foreign Affairs and International Relations and Defense Committee. Uh, we will be having um, vetting from today. We are starting with the PS of the Foreign Relations. 
and then we proceed to ambassador. Actually, our committee has the highest number of appointments. Mm -hmm. We'll be holding vetting today and tomorrow, and then do a report writing over the weekend and submit it to Parliament on Tuesday. Um, there is no official communication. No PG has been held so far, just like last time, in regard to the discussions of uh, vetting uh, and... Uh, you know, appearance in well, in this an umbrella, an umbrella, an umbrella agreement that any appointment made by President Uru Kenyatta, you will not be part of it because it you do not rec recognize his legitimacy. It, it wasn't the umbrella. It wasn't the umbrella kind of. It, it never. It, it's not an authority. It is something that was discussed as a that time. Politics is very dynamic, and I think we should so be really too much. political. It, no, it was. You know, we are politicians. Yeah. We've got political leaders, mm -hmm. and any action that we take, be it a jubilee or NASA. They take political, you know, uh, directions. Mm -hmm. At that time, uh, the leadership of the party, of the coalition, felt it fi wise not to allow its members to be on committee of, uh, on appointments. And after holding consultations, several PGs, you know, several, several PGs, it wasn't a one-man show. Mm -hmm. This time round, we haven't held such a P uh, PG. So neither have you parliament. agreed to attend the uh, It hasn't been discussed. Uh, vetting or... Uh, stay away from it. It has not been discussed. You see, the status quo remains. Yes. The point is, it's our legislative role. We understand okay. that. Okay. So we must attend, unless otherwise. Discussed. Unless you receive that uh, message on WhatsApp. Not uh, receiving. We don't. Minority saying, do not we, dare get into that committee room. NASA does not operate like Jubilee. <laughs> NASA members sit down and discuss. Uh -huh. In fact, I'm, 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 I'm surprised that my colleague did my here. Because there was a directive from State House that they should not appear on TV, live on TV or any media without authority. Probably is received that, authority. Is that such a directive? Uh, yeah, it's a directive. But, but well, you see, you see, maybe my, he doesn't know. my friend, with all the due respect, you see, <laughs> NASA have always do not have an agenda for this country. <laughs> The is, uh, no, is that, is that, have you been stopped? There is no directive uh, barring us from appearing on national television. Mm -hmm. I think even yourself, you understand. Mm -hmm. I've been here with you. No, it, it once, came yesterday. Mm -hmm. It came yesterday when he was in court. He doesn't know. He left. He, his flight was this morning. There was such a directive. I am a there. member of parliament yes. for representing the people of the Kimberley constituency. And my role are clear that, are, you know, in terms of oversight. Mm -hmm. And I can oversight everywhere. I can oversight through a TV station. I can oversight on the, you know, uh, purview of parliament. I can even uh, oversight, uh, I can carry out my legislative roles uh, 